Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. For our next Yellow Texas destination, we are headed just north of Houston to a place that promises to be a genuine blast from the past as we turn back the clock to visit the one and only Game Preserve. All right, so this is cool and it must mean that we're in the right spot because behind those doors is a literal time capsule to an important piece of pop culture that's been perfectly preserved for us today. Welcome to the Game Preserve. All of the old school arcade games you knew and loved and some you've never heard of lined up waiting for you to rediscover them in all their retro glory. And to give me a tour, I met up with co-owner Rusty Key. Rusty, it is a pleasure being here. This place is amazing. It's a little blast from the past, but I do have to ask, how did this all get started? It was really a, a problem for us because you buy a game, then you buy another game, and then they're like rabbits and you have all these games. They take over your house, they take over. Let's put all our games, put them in one place, we'll share the expenses and we'll bring it up. Well, what we found out is people just wanted to come and play our games. They didn't want to bring their games, they just want to come and play ours. So we changed it into the membership-based kind of business model that we have here. So what is a normal day at the Game Preserve like? Well, we have 125, 130 video games, pinball machines, all up and running all the time, yeah. uh, from the modern times all the way back to 1960. So we have games for all ages, and that's what we have come in. We have people from all ages, young kids and adults, and they all come yeah, in. Yeah, that was my next question. Who, who can come in and walk in and play these games? We are a family-based. We're five owners here, and we, um, we're all family men. So we wanted to make sure that we have a place where people come in and bring their kids. We see parents come in, and, you know, and the, the kids, they have the Xbox and the PS2s at the house, and they just scorch us on those games. We just cannot play. <laughs> yeah. And then they come across, and they, they come here, and Dad goes, here, let me show you how to play this game, son. And he sits down, and away he goes, and they have a great How does this all, you know, go down? I brought a bunch of quarters just to be <laughs> no, ready no, for No, no, you don't, you no. Know, no quarters, no tokens. You pay an entrance fee. 15 bucks, you're in, and you're in all day long. Come and go as you want. We allow people to bring your own food. We're a BYOB facility. Yeah, and what I do love about your story and how this all got started is the community outreach. You actually do uh, something really, really cool. It's called the Pinball Project. Project Pinball, yes I'm sorry, it's yep. called the Project Pinball. Do you mind telling us a little bit more yeah. about that? So what Project Pinball does is they get the money and they, they pull, pull money together and then they create contracts with the children's hospitals and they put pinball machines in the children's hospitals for those folks, little kids that can't get out and can't go play, yeah. to come in there and play. That's awesome. You're checking off all the things that I love and I cannot <laughs> wait to get going and Good. just take a look around. And you know, after years of doing boring grown-up stuff, getting back at the controls of these video gaming classics was like rediscovering an old friend. Times it was almost surreal how certain songs and sounds bring you right back. Woo -woo. Stage two. Oh yeah. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh. <laughs> I celebrated too soon. All right, that's all the time we have here today at the Game Preserve. If you're in the Houston area, you need to check this place out. I am going to stick around because I got about 40 more games to get to. Wish me good luck. For a list of every classic game plus more, visit GamePreserveHouston.com today.